Do you get yours? No. Yes. Yeah. Once upon a time, in sunny Spain, there was a little bull, and his name was Ferdinand. Do you see Ferdinand over here? Oh, it's Ferdinand. All the other little bulls he lived with would run and jump and butt their heads together. <laughs> but not Ferdinand. He liked to sit just quietly and smell the flowers. <laughs> he had a favorite spot out in the pasture underneath a cork tree. It was his favorite tree. And he would sit in its shade all day and smell the flowers. Sometimes his mother, who was a cow, <laughs> would worry about him. She was afraid he would be lonesome all by himself. Why don't you run and play with the <laughs> other little bulls and skip and butt your head? She would say. But Ferdinand would shake his head. I like it better here, where I can sit just quietly and smell the flowers. His mother saw that he was not lonesome. And because she was an understanding mother, even though she was a cow, <laughs> she let him sit just quietly and be happy. As the years went, went by, Ferdinand grew and grew until he was very big and strong. <laughs> All the other little bulls who had grown up with him in the same pasture would fight each other all day. They would butt each other with them and stick each other with their horns. What they wanted most of all was to be picked to fight at the bullfights in Madrid. Look at all the bulls. <laughs> but not Ferdinand. He still liked to sit just quietly under the cork tree and smell the flowers. One day, Five men came in very funny hats to pick the biggest, fastest, roughest bull to fight in the bullfights in Madrid. All the other bulls ran around and norting, butting, leaping, and jumping, so the men would think that they were very strong and fierce, and pick them. Look at them, butting and jumping and snorting. And look at all the funny hats. Ferdinand knew that they wouldn't pick him, and he didn't care. So he went out to his favorite cork tree to sit down. He didn't look where he was sitting. And instead of sitting on a nice, cool grass in the shade, he sat on a bumblebee! <laughs> well, if you were a bumblebee, and the bull sat on Jew, what would Jew do? Jew would sting him. And that is just what the pig did to Ferdinand. Oh. Wow, did it hurt. Ferdinand jumped up with a snort, and he ran around, a puffing and snorting, and butting, and bowing, and bowing the ground as if he was crazy. The five men saw him, and they shouted with joy. Here was the largest and fiercest bull of all, just the one for the bullfights in Madrid. So they took him away for the bullfight in a car. What a day it was. The flags were flying, the bands were playing, and all the lovely ladies had flowers in their hair. They had a big parade into the war ring. First came the banderilleros, with long short pins with ribbons on them to stick in the bull and make him mad. Then, came the picadores, who rode skinny horses, and they had long spears to stick in the bull and make him even madder. Then came the matador, the proudest of all. He was very handsome, and he bowed to the ladies. He had a red cape and a sword, and was supposed to stick the bull last of all. Then came the bull. And 
you know who that was, don't you? Ferdinand. They called him Ferdinand the Fierce, and the Banderilleros were afraid of him, and the Picadores were afraid of him, and the Matador, he was scared of the street. Ferdinand ran to the middle of the ring, and everybody shouted and clapped because they thought he was going to fight fiercely and butt and snort and stick his horns around. But not Ferdinand. When he got to the middle of the ring, he saw the flowers and all the lowly lady hair. And he just sat quietly and he smiled. He wouldn't fight and be fierce no matter what they did. He just sat and smiled. And the banderilleros were mad. And the picadores were mad. And the matador, he was so mad, he cried because he couldn't show off with his cape and sword. So they had to take Ferdinand home. And for all I know, he is sitting there still, under his favorite cork tree, smelling the flowers just quietly. And he is very happy. The end. The end. <laughs> Yay! Yay. Well, let's see how you joke him. What is the moral of the story? Don't steal on a bomb, Levy. <laughs> <laughs> Joe Kim. Joe, Joe Kim. Kim, look at the camera. Joe. <laughs> Joe. Uh... Bye bye. You know what this is? What? <laughs>